Hello friends, happy Monday. I hope everybody is nice and toasty warm. And for those of you who are still in warm areas, it's coming, it's cold here. I spent the weekend in the mountains of North Carolina and it was absolutely beautiful. Not quite the leaf change, but now we're back getting caught up and it's chilly and I'm, this is gonna be my uniform sweatshirts for the rest of the season, next four months, right? Okay, I wanna talk about the truth in the R word, and that R word is responsibility. And I'll share with you as my dog's trying to climb up on my chair, an, a story about him, actually. I came um, back from the chiropractor this morning and I found all of my client cards. I have cards for each one of you, and they're on a little spiral ring. And somebody, I won't name any names, he's furry and white, had gotten into my work backpack and pulled them out and eaten them. Yes, fantastic. So my responsibility in that should have been zipping up the backpack, but um, he got a stern talking to, I'll just say that. Not why I'm here though. Let's talk about what the hardest thing that there is to do that will help you grow the most, and that is responsibility. It's interesting when we get involved in a new, a new program. So 2B Mindset is such a great example for this. And this is a great metaphor for anything in your life, whether it's a job, whether it's responsibilities in your home, <laughs> housekeeping, that's mine, um, that I struggle with. So how does that apply? We get excited when we get involved into something new. And then the rubber meets the road and we start maybe working the program, maybe it gets hard, and we move along, right? We, we try to do something different. We go after something that maybe is a little bit easier, a little bit newer. Tina did a video yesterday, I think it was, about burn the ships, and I love that because we get in that mindset like it's such a microwave society, right? Like if it doesn't work in the first 30 days, we're gonna go try something else, it must not be for me. And I had somebody recently who um, purchased the 2B Mindset and made one post in this group and wasn't super active. And I kept following up with her and I finally was like, what's going on? And she said, well, 2B Mindset just really wasn't for me. And I started to think about that. And I, I don't think that there's a blanket product program, anything in life that is for everybody. So let me just say that to start with. But I started to think about that comment, hey Tammy, it's not for me. And I wanted to say to her, in hindsight, did you watch every single video that Alana did? Did you do everything on the checklist that I sent you? Did you do all the units in the group? Did you plug in? Did you engage? Were you vulnerable? Did you use your tracker every single day? Did you drink your water? Did you follow the two bunnies? Did you open yourself up to get coached? I'm actually her coach, but if it wasn't somebody that was my client, I would have said, get coached by your coach. Did you do everything in your power to make that happen? And the answer would have been no. The answer would have been no. So in my mind, I kind of was just thinking about that and I wanted to go, I don't literally want to go back to her, but I thought, what a loss, because not only was she wrong about saying 2B didn't work for her, but she really missed out. She missed out on having some powerful changes in her life that would enable her to share her gifts with other people and live differently, right? So if she had gone back through and said, do I feel confident that I could have said yes to all those things, watching the videos, engaging the group, doing the units, blah, 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 if I had said yes to that. And so if the answer was no, then I have to say, why do you think she was in that spot? And you might be wrestling with this. And I think sometimes, and I have been so guilty of this, I, I like to tell myself that I am a marketer's dream. We tend to believe that the wisdom of the coach, the wisdom of the person leading the program is how you get the results, right? I'm actually, personal example is I'm involved in a, a life coaching class right now. I hired someone to help me and I'm not getting the results that I want from this course. It has nothing to do with the leader of the course. It has nothing to do with the vibe of the group. It has nothing to do with the inordinate amount of money that I paid to be in this group. It has nothing to do with any of that. It has everything to do with, guess what? Me. 
And so that's what we're going to talk about today is that if we believe that the wisdom of the other person, the outside thing gets us results, we're wrong. We got to change that mindset. We have the power to take the responsibility. And this is where we have to change our mindset. So Motivation Monday is really Mindset Monday. When we start to free this up and own a little bit more of what's going on, we can see huge changes, right? So this particular client who said it didn't work, she didn't get herself where she wanted to go. It wasn't to be mindset that didn't work. It was herself. Um, and if she had followed those steps, she would have gotten the results that she wanted to. Hands down. End of story, right? So this is what our job is as coaches. This is what your job is as a parent, right? If your kids aren't taking responsibility, your job is to show them the steps and then encourage them to take those steps. And if they can wholeheartedly say yes to all those things, then not only have they taken responsibility, but they're going to get the results they're looking for. So why wasn't this particular person seeing themselves as a creator in the process? What, what is that all about? Why wasn't she able to see that she had ownership in this and she was part of the process with 2B? And I'll tell you why. Because human nature, if you're anything like me, right? Like I, I'll go back to that life coaching example. I want to blame the process. I want to blame the spreadsheet. I want to blame the types of activities and the level of intensity. And I want to blame all these things. I want to blame something external because that's easier. We as human beings are wired. We're wired for love, but we're also wired to like try to get out of things, have that fleshly um, response to things. So you know, how do I know that her lack of results is not because of my wisdom? How do I know that that's not true? Well, the way I know that that's not true is because there are people in this group right now that have lost 20 to 30 pounds. There's people in this group that have reduced their diabetes medicines. There are people in this group that have come off of cholesterol medicines. There are people in this group right now that went from being insomniacs to sleeping through the night. There are people in this group that went from having skin issues to having clear skin. Those are results. Those are within the power of all of us to create because we get to model the creator, right? We get to take this information and put it into action and achieve our own results. It's our responsibility. Some will in this group and some won't in this group. And I'm hopeful that you are listening to this because you're one of the ones who will. You get to be in charge. So the bottom line is anyone who's here we get to affect the program. We get to affect it, meaning we bring ourselves with this program so the two paired together is how we get to achieve the results. We follow the system and we each get our own different brand of result in this, but you have to show up and you have to be willing to change your thinking. I, I think it's freeing when we start to think that the change doesn't really come from the program, the change comes from what happens in here that change is powerful because here's what happens. The shift goes from it's the program's fault, right? It's maybe Stephanie's fault as a coach. It is, um, I don't know, I don't like to eat veggies fault. It's the veggies fault. We're just going to blame the veggies. That's good. All of those things are external. Where's the power source in that? We've given that up. So it's time for all of us to take back that power the only way that you can change is to adjust that. And so responsibility is the ability to respond. So how do we respond to what we've been given? Um, <clears throat> we get to put ourselves in that equation, right? So you don't have the ability to ignite change when change has to come from outside of you. That's pretty profound. I know I like to blame a lot of things. And it all can be changed with how we change this and how we change this. So you can ask yourself, let's apply this to 2B Mindset. How can I take responsibility for what I'm doing right now? This is not a should or shouldn't type of evaluation. You can't sit here right now and say, I should be this far along, or I shouldn't have done X, Y, and Z, or you know, we get into like treats and cheats and all that kind of stuff. We can't should ourselves. I love that. That arguing with reality is the number one reason that keeps us stuck. So we don't want to argue with re reality. We want to make adjustments and make changes. What if we just got really, really, really honest and we said, if we are standing here at the end of week one, 
or we're standing here at the end of month, gosh, we started in May, you know, month five, if we are not where we want to be with our results, what if we asked a very specific question and said, if I'm really honest, what really could I have done differently? Right? You know the tools. So if you didn't finish, let's, get, let's flesh that out a little bit. If you didn't finish the videos, maybe you could have finished the videos. If you didn't plug into the units and go through, if you started, let's say you started in September and you haven't looked at the units yet, maybe you want to dig in there. Maybe you haven't taken the opportunity to ask for one-on-one -on -one coaching from your coach. Maybe you haven't fully stepped into using the tracker and employing the two bunnies, using the scale, drinking water first and veggies most. Maybe you haven't tracked with detail. What are the things that you could have done differently? Maybe you've been unwilling to give up FFCs at night. Let's just make that up. Let's say that you've been sticking with regular pasta every single night for dinner. I think if you're willing to ask that question, what really could I have done differently? What could I have done better? You'll start to see some changes and then you don't have to overthink it. You also don't have to blame anything external. That's the great part, right? Here's the deal. The result that you have is for a very specific reason. And that could be a positive result. That could be, you're knocking it out of the park. Like you might've thought, I'm gonna lose 10 or 15 pounds. And oh my gosh, I've lost 25, this is amazing. Those results, holy cow, that's loud. Those results are for a very specific reason. So it's your job to figure out what that reason is so that you can fix it or maybe duplicate it and then move forward, right? We always wanna push that needle forward. It's coming from you because of you and controlled by you. That's liberating, right? Because we have the power to change that. How many of us have tried to change somebody that we live with? That doesn't work. We can only change ourselves. What's another question we can ask ourselves to kind of elevate this experience and move forward, push the needle? This one's hard. So I'm gonna ask you to be really vulnerable, but I want you to ask, why am I the reason I'm not getting the results I want? Mm, that's hard. Why am I the reason I'm not getting the results I want? And I think when you start to ask those kind of questions, I learned from a coach a long time ago, when you're not getting the results, you're not asking the right questions. And we get to do that for ourselves. We get to ask ourselves those questions, but why am I the reason I'm not getting the results? And this is something y'all, I love talking about in the tracker. You get to jot down emotions, maybe periods of time during the day that you might be stuck, but think about that question. Why am I the reason? Why am I the reason? Maybe it's because you're letting yourself, your calendar control you versus you control your calendar. So you're getting in a pinch and you haven't planned, right? You get to, that's something you can change. And if you can't articulate how you would change, that's what we're here for, both as a community and as individual coaches, okay? You have to know your path to move forward. So we get to say no to self-pity and shooting on ourselves, and we get to say yes to taking back our power and moving forward. I mean, I don't like being in a pity party, right? I mean, I do it, and I can get stuck there, but, right, we don't wanna be there. So how many of you feel like you've made your money back on your investment in To Be Mindset? There have been varying levels of investment here. Some people started with just the To Be Mindset kit. Some people did this To Be Mindset kit with Shakeology. Some people did the full Cadillac To Be Mindset, Shakeology, Beachbody On Demand, so they've got access to workouts, the whole kit and caboodle. You all invested something to be here. How many of you feel like you have made your money back? I mean, not literally, right? Like you're not getting it, but if you expected results from your investment, have you made your money back? Translation, have you gotten the results that you want? So if you've got negative emotion around that, around that question, maybe you're like, oh, I haven't. I've wasted my money here. I want you to take that hat off, that negative hat off, that self-pity hat off, and we're gonna re-engage because you are always responsible. You get to take that power back. You get to say, you know what? I haven't made my money back because that was within my power. Let's change that. Let's band together. Let's stick in it when it gets hard. Let's start where we are and adjust our responsibility, right? Level up. 
And let's take this attitude of let's do it for a little while and let's change that. Let's say, let's do it as long as it takes. Let's do this program, this connection, this level of responsibility. Let's do it as long as it takes to achieve the results that we want. And that's what the power of this community is. So back to the person who said to be mindset, you know, didn't work. Um, I think ultimately, you know, here's the, here's the deal. Beachbody actually offers a money back guarantee, but getting her money back doesn't serve her. And the reason why it doesn't serve her is it's not allowing her to step into her own power. So it wouldn't be another program that's going to work either. It's about taking back responsibility for her own actions, for her own thoughts, for her own choices, for that momentum. Does that make sense? That's where we get to change all of this. And that's what's super exciting because we have incredible tools. I'm going to say that again. We have incredible tools. The teachings from the videos, the private coaching that you have available, this group, the sisterhood, the camaraderie, the experiences that we're able to share with each other, and then the determination from each of you. That's the secret sauce, right? So that's it. Don't give up. Don't quit. This is your chance to take your power back and ask yourself, why am I the reason I'm not getting the results that I want? If you're brave enough, I want you to share that below. And maybe you are getting the results that you want. And if you're one of those people, I'd love for you to share that too. Why are you getting the results? What is it about the level of responsibility that you've taken that's allowed you to step into that? Was it mindset? Was it availability? How did that shift happen? Because as I always say, I love the quote and I should know who said it and I don't know, but high tides rise all boats, right? So we get to raise the, raise the roof on responsibility together, right? And make a big change. I know this to be true because I have to preach it for myself. I had to preach this to myself this morning when it came to that other group, that life coaching group that I've invested in. And I have to preach it to myself about my tracker and why sometimes I have fluctuations that I don't love, but it all comes back to me. It's no one else's job, right? So that's the good news for today, Motivation Monday. Hey, Liza, we're hopping off now, but you can go back and watch the beginning. I'd love to hear your comments below.